so here's another example again of where corn and I actually do want to touch on this issue, specific issue. Cornyn tried grilling Judge Jackson about viability of fetuses. And as many of you know, her training is not in obstetrics. Um, what does viability mean when it comes to an unborn child in your understanding? Senator, I hesitate to speculate. I don't. I know that it is a point in time that the court has identified in terms of uh, when uh, the standards that apply to regulation of the right. Justice Brennan, at a later point in his career on the Supreme Court, admitted that the viability line was an arbitrary line. Do you agree with agree with him? Senator, I'm not able to comment on um, viability. There is a, a case. See, like this is one of these things where if we all got together in a room and by we, I don't mean people like John Cornyn. I just mean people like, you know, most of you in, in my audience and we would all get together and we would say, of course, this question of viability has an arbitrary nature. Of course it does. Oftentimes we talk about 22 to 23 weeks is the absolute earliest that a at that point. I mean, even pre premature is an understatement, but at 22 or 23 weeks, if everything goes perfectly, you might be able and I, I believe that this is still accurate. You might be able to see a, 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 a fetus survive. And then with every week beyond 23 weeks, the pos the chances go up slightly. And then you have different standards for when when is the heart formed versus when can you detect? We would all agree with that. OK, and much the same way. If you set a speed limit at 35 miles per hour, we would all agree there's no magic about 35 on dry roads. Eighty percent of cars could go 45. But we're going to set it to 35 because 20 percent of the cars can't. And then if it's rainy, that goes down. And but but it's of course. But we all accept that you have to accept that there is some arbitrariness to it. That doesn't make it so that abortion should be illegal. The problem is you can't do it in a conversation with someone like John Cornyn because he's just trying to sandbag you and set you up. So she really has no choice but to um, say, listen, I'm not I'm just not a biologist. And th there's another question here as well, which is. For what purpose are we determining it? Right. If you say to these very Republicans who say, oh, even at a week, we are talking about a person here. And then you go to them and you say, OK, should the mom get the child tax credit for a one week old fetus? Because if I mean, if if it's a person, you should get the tax credit, right? They would almost certainly say, no, no, no. Well, that's different. Um, and if you were to say to them, well, if you have a one week old fetus and you're here illegally, if it's a person, then really it's already a citizen, right? Because of the law when they are born, if it's a person at one week, it's a citizen at a week in the feet. They would say, no, no. Well, no, that's different. So. All of these questions are always for what purpose are we trying to determine that? Um, yeah. Anyway, so uh, you, she ends up with no. You, she really has no choice but to just say, "I'm not a biologist." Sorry, you know. And, and and it's unfortunately there are real important discussions that could be had about all of these issues. You just can't really have them with with people like John Cornyn.